Across the globe today, the over 188 national societies celebrated World Red Cross Day. Annually, May 8th, which is the birthday of the founder, Henry Durant, is set aside to highlight the wide range of services provided by the organization. The Belize chapter of Red Cross has been growing leaps and bounds since it was first recognized as a national society back in 1983. According to Executive Director Lily Bowman, the work of the humanitarian organization is no longer limited primarily to disaster relief response. The needs of the vulnerable people keep changing every day. Every day there are emerging um, challenges that they have to face. And as a Red Cross movement, whose goal is to alleviate suffering wherever it is found, we have to move and change and redesign our, our programs, our services according to the needs of the people and to, be, to um, remain relevant in our community. Right now, we don't only respond to disasters. We don't only prepare for disasters. We are now building resilient, safer, stronger communities. The Red Cross is currently wrapping up a five-year program, the Resilience in the Americas Project, which focuses on eight communities within the Corozal and Orange Walk districts. The program looks at social and economic issues for vulnerable populations, as well as improving general living conditions while providing them with skills in small business management, advocacy, financial literacy, first aid, and disaster risk. While this project was funded by a sister society, many of the local projects are carried out by members of its volunteerism program. What we normally do is build partnerships like, for instance, we've partnered with um, Alba Petro Carib, who has helped us to build not only 10 latrines, but 17 more, you know? And so we, we reach a little further and we mm -hmm. benefit a little more people. We've um, partnered with um, the, the public health department who helps us to, to identify the locations and give us advice as to where the latrines are, should, be, should be placed. We partner with the village council they were one of our biggest partners. The minute you leave this office, or leave our office, you need money. Mm -hmm. um, so funding is very, very vital. But with our base of volunteers, we try to ease the need for funding because our volunteers are well trained and, and we continuously train them. We've just really finished training a whole bunch in, um, to be national intervention teams ready for the season, for, for the um, disaster season coming up. For the past 10 years, the Belize Red Cross has been training volunteers to conduct capacity development of communities in preparation of eventualities. Focal Point Fred Hunter says that awareness is key. Over the last few years, uh, we're not just focusing on disaster alone, but on uh, strengthening the community itself. That way they can deal with any kind of risk and plan ahead. And we've actually, uh, over the last four or five years, community, um, uh, we have community uh, support groups as well as community disaster response teams. The response teams are trained in first aid, how to, to respond to, to a specific incident or event, whereas the community support group is volunteers from the community that want to help develop their community and they have been trained in a, a number of disciplines, not uh, um, we call it organizational development, mm -hmm. advocacy, how to make their needs known to, to the right people that can assist them, how to make their own community more aware of what risks they face, what strengths they have to develop those strengths and to communicate with each other. This year's team for World Red Cross Day is everywhere for everyone. Dwayne Moody for News 5.